Aloha everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be playing some RTA. Before we get into it, I got a little special guest with me here today. I got Asian Thunder once again. Asian Thunder, are you here? Hey, thanks for inviting me back, man. Hey, you sound very uh, excited to be here. So excited, man. Can't wait to be another video. How long has it been? It's been a little hey. while. As you know, I've recently got a new unit. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. We did a crazy summon session for my account. And I don't know, man, maybe they're trying to make me play like a little bit more like seriously instead of so casually now, but probably my best summon session of 2021. Today's main event is... All right, you can see this is one of the units that I summoned here. I got John, baby. All right, let's take a look at some of his skills here and talk about, you know, with Asian Thunder here about John. So he's kind of the best surfer out of everyone, but people Sorry. weren't playtesting him before, like even people in ladder because he wasn't allowed to be used in like SWC, like oh, regionals. Oh, yeah. But now like once America starts and Europe starts, which America starts next week, by the way. Yeah, it's then like soon. these surfers could be used and i think if anyone has a shot of being used it's him or the water one right i mean his damage and his cc is really nice right hello everybody before we get into today's video i'd like to thank raid shadow legends for sponsoring today's video i got a couple of questions to ask you have you ever taken down the demon lord crushed the ice golem ascended the doom tower well what about fight millions of real players in arena well today's a day we're gonna get your life in order. It's time to raid. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions, you can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. And there's an amazing new legendary champion in game right now that some of you may recognize. It's Ninja. He's got a katana, a bow and arrow, and he controls both ice and fire. It's honestly one of the best looking character designs I've seen in any game and his amazing passive means he gets even stronger the longer a battle goes on, which is perfect for those longer boss fights. On top of that, he's got an AoE freeze on his third skill, which is one of the strongest crowd control effects in the game. Some of you guys might be asking, Island Girl, what's your favorite part of Raid Shadow Legends? I love summons, baby. So let's go to do some summons today. Maybe we can get a little four star action, maybe a five star. A little wishful thinking, all right. So typically when we see the blue, we're gonna get a three star here. We got Blood Braid. It's so awesome looking at these characters and the animations and the detail that they put into each and every one of these. <laughs> Come on. What we really wanna see is the purple, which has a lightning, which means we're gonna get a four star, right? Or the orange, right? You'll, you'll know what I mean. All right, this is it. Finally, let's get a four star or a five star. Oh, nice. We got a four star. You saw the lightning there. Rock Breaker. Okay, I actually don't think I have this one. All right, look at this helmet man imagine somebody dropping a pot on your head don't know if i'll build them i'd probably do a little bit more research and uh see if i can use them so what's new in raid ninja's available for free right now so everyone can get him but he's only going to be available until october 15th he's a super limited edition champion and once that day comes you'll never be able to get ninja again so you really want to start playing soon and this month raid just released a huge new doom tower update there are two huge new bosses to take on astrax the dark fey and Bommel, the Dreadhorn, along with new enemy balance on tower floors, new secret rooms to discover, and most importantly, new artifact sets to win. If that's not enough, the whole month is packed with awesome events and tournaments, including one very special event with a brand new feature, Super Raids. Super Raids let you double up your rewards from hitting dungeons and massively speed up your progression. This is amazing for new players, and if there's ever a time to start playing, it's now, because you don't want to miss this. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description, or scan my QR code, and you'll get an epic hero, Chonoru, who's amazing in the Doom Tower. 200,000 silver, one EXP booster, one energy refill, and an ancient shard, so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. All these treasures and more will be waiting for you here, but keep in mind, this is only available for the next 30 days. So download Raid today, and I'll see you guys in the game. Now, let's get back to the video. Skill 1, what is this, uh, 70%? Skill 2, attack the enemy, increase the target's skill cooldown by one turn, and absorb the attack bar by 30%, goes up to 75% chance. In addition, decrease your, school down, uh, your skill cooldown time by one, if you successfully increase their skill cooldown time. Comes out to be, uh, because of minus skill up here, so comes out to be two turns if you actually land yeah. it so and then the big skill here skill three plasma bomb install a bomb that goes off after one turn that's kind of cool and then puts other bombs that go off after two turns so like regular bombs so this is kind of nice i think a lot of people yeah. have been using him with like sierra or even by itself as that cc damage dealing unit right think about this unit and how it changes the matches like because let's say i use cyan right but cyan puts two bombs on everyone so if I got trapped in draft and there was someone that cleanses, then you're screwed over. Then all the bombs are gone. Right. But right now, Lulu is very prevalent in uh, RTA. So 
if I land that one turn bomb on Lulu and he just gets stunned, then the rest of the team is screwed over. That's true. That's kind of nice. You can also get a resistance lead, which I mean, it could come in handy, right? The only thing I guess you got to worry about, which is going to like haunt everybody, is you put that bomb onto Lulu, you put that bomb into any kind of, you know, cleansing unit or, you know, immunity unit. It goes off and it does its stun because of resist, right? So I'm assuming, right, these kinds of units usually have high resist. So that's the biggest scare, right? When you're yeah, kind of using John. That's why, like, as you play RTA and you get higher and higher, it seems like everyone needs 85 accuracy to play the game now I and see. when you're not there that's because your rune level isn't good enough and that's why you can't climb higher even if you're copying the teams of like a g3 player all right got some units ruined up here all right this is gonna be kind of like a little cleaving kind of team hopefully we're gonna be able to smash people in this rank but i'm not sure right as you can see we haven't done any matches what like 10 12 matches so far so g2 actually technically g3 from back in the day it's like season two season three definitely washed up as hell now but all right let's have some fun all right i got asian thunder it's gonna kind of be my coach here today kind of talk about it and you know see what your thoughts are on the unit and strategize a little bit about rta as well because i mean give them a little rundown how long have you been playing the game again right as well as uh, what rank are you currently right now in uh, rta i played the game for almost seven years now probably like i actually played the game like eight months after the server was was released and i've just been playing every day but in the beginning it was very casual right you just play your energy goes low if you have 750 crystals just summon it real quick because i want to play for units right? right then you like realize like oh hey i have more friends that play this i want to participate in an actual guild but then you start like actually farming runes and that's how i got into like ssa now uh currently this season i'm really good this season because the units that i have in my box are like tier triple s which is like fire bison and chan pung so i'm currently g3 rta uh i've been like top 100 like like hovering around top 100 but i think i'm gonna just end like around 150 200 so i can finally end like g3 rta who do i should pick it maybe Vern and ban josephine honestly you go trying here because you just outspeed a new piece all right this should be fun <clears throat> well all right so what do i want to do here do I, I don't even need to use it huh just need to just use s2 for damage honestly you think so? damage is very nice i mean i guess because he's super slow right s2 either uh I think I would S2 Josie, because yeah. then I would have Oki go off, right? Uh, oh, he resisted. I think we still S3 is... anyways, yeah? Yeah. And then it just procs, that's fine. As long as the friend doesn't proc out. I mean, the biggest benefit that I'll have in these ranks is probably a little bit more of the rune quality, so things are, you know, a little bit tankier than my opponent. Still, yeah, pretty much. He just S2 here. Yeah, silence just and then oh would... dude that's so scary dude See, that's good though right see the silence <laughs> Holy is awesome crap, that's so scary this sucks to have attack down this check. probably got changed up most likely for rta yeah right, let's see here see this is why like chun pung is so stupid you get like a s3 offer him and you're like oh i can't play the game anymore. i need chun pung like if i had chun pung it would go in my lineup right like for sure It'd yeah you would not lineup. use titan yeah, yeah you Triton wouldn't use is just titan. like the the not as strong one. I mean, it would even be even better if I had a Gianna, you know? So, come to us, you know? <laughs> so, you think that John here is going to be very, very strong? I see it, like, potentially being used. But the problem is, right now, it's all the good units are, like, 100 res. The problem is Lulu a lot for a lot of people. And that's why people are asking for her to get nerfed. I'm like, should she get nerfed? Kinda, yes. Because I think it's... The problem is not, like, she's only OP in RTA, right? But she's also OP in Siege. She's OP in a lot of areas. And typically, like, when comp to Siege, someone's OP in a lot of areas you kind of have to nerf it a little bit. Right. The thing is that I think there's always going to be units that are OP. It's just a matter of how long they leave it there and what kind of solutions they have because it's it's never going to be, you're never going to be able to fully balance everything. Something is going to be figured out to be OP that's stronger than something else. You know, it's just how it always is. Dang, can we even run John? I think we just run John anyways because it's just... You could still do it and I bet you would ban Sierra anyways. Fine. It's okay, root quality, it. right? Fighter 2, right? You said Fighter 2. What, what rank do you think I should be? Like, honestly, washed up and, you know, where my account is, what rank do you think I, I should be? C2 or C3. I think C3 is easy to hit all the time, though. I always think C3 is easy. I think C3 is always easy to hit. Yeah, but... I, I, I remember the gap's always crazy, and it's only been getting crazier. So, yeah. it's understandable. Yeah, Honestly, I kind of would have S2 there. You think so? But hey, like it matters, right? You're just mm -hmm. going to outrun this guy. I just want to push him back. Wait, how's your Oki so slow? Oh, no, he, he pushed it back. He pushed it back. I like that much? That's nuts. Yeah, I guess. Okay, what's... Try want to bomb the Praha, dude. Yeah, let's see if it lands. Do you take resist? I didn't even watch. Okay, no, we're good. No, we're good. See, this? we're good. We're good. This is easy, dude. Just bomb. Oh, my God, dude. This is... Okay, rune quality definitely prevailed there because I wasn't paying attention, but I'm pretty sure... Right? I'm pretty sure that he had... Uh, I'm Man, pretty sure I, he had speed lead. I would have gone for Praha there. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure he had speed lead, though. Right? right. Can we just kill this? Uh oh, I think you're screwed here. Nah, Unless dude. No, nah, don't do it. Don't worry, dude. Well, this is fun. 
died, dude. It ruined quality, right? I think Savannah's just gonna win the whole yeah, game for you. We gotta kill the Chalawa. I don't care about the other ones right now. What? Nice. Okay, we'll take that. Nice. Just buy the proc twice. You know when when you when you when you're a lot more casual and you don't like play as often, Keep it's tough sometimes to like pay attention to the uh, the skills. You know, like who has what up. You have to think about so much. RTA has gotten so complex, man. RTA was always about counting turns, and if you played enough, you, you are like, oh, okay, this unit has this skill up. Oh, violent you get, the, you get the feel for it, right? I don't even know why. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. But you get the feel I, for it. You're like, oh, he should have it up now. Oh, he's he's about to have it up now. Yeah, I don't think anyone ever has the actual number in their head. It's just like, oh, this feels right. Right. Uh, yeah, we, were we, we definitely day. we definitely outroomed him there okay the problem is if he bans triton water ryu is not that good stripping multiple buffs it's good <laughs> stripping like just will buff bro people say that molong doesn't strip and don't worry uh... bro don't worry bro we should outspeed even my oki should probably outspeed his uh Wusa. we'll just reset it this is fighter it's easy right Ooh, that's kind of small oh my god yeah i actually think your oki is missing a rune man no 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Hey, it's, it's double muty. It's you fine. pick double stripper. Double stripper. We don't care, dude. There's, like, there's actually no picks he can choose from this point that would save him. This is like easy dub. SWC. What are some of the top units that you think are going to be used in SWC? Man, there's a lot of LD whales in all of them right now. If I'm looking at like LD whale perspective, I think Ragdoll, Pontos, Nyx, Tion Langs. Those units are not. How about and then I, Fire Bison, Chan Pung, and Lulu. I think those three are contested pretty heavily, at least in America's side. But like for other regions, Lulu was a top 10 pick, right? But they love like Fran Cocky. Oh, it's what interesting. The like, what the hell is going on? You're fine. You're fine. Just bomb it all. You outspeed them. Then you're just gonna blow it up anyways. Should I just bomb Probably. Yeah, I kill the one. one we just win. Oh my gosh, dude. How much strips did I just miss? Sheesh. Okay, we we went on. Oh. Thing. Anyways, back to the conversation. What about free to play units besides Lulu? Right, that you think are gonna be in there? Is free to play D count on like Nat fours? Yeah, I'd say so. Hockey's a really good unit. But like people like just all the onis. All the onis are really nice. Um, besides that. Man, comps was really messed up with the balls. Like the water ball, all those <laughs> things. Dude, the balls suck so bad. Okay, here's the thing. When I was looking at their skills, right? I thought it was based off max HP, which is what it said. And I was like, oh, so it's like Skogel, right? Yeah, I was, I was kind of excited to uh, to play to uh, play with the balls. Only the light one's kind of interesting. Why Kill it. This? Um, I mean, very like I attack break. No, you have solo, to attack right? break the cocky, dude. Oh, no, artifact damage? I just don't want to get... Last chance. Come on. You know, we're good. We're good. Rune quality. We're good. Rune quality. We're good. Rune quality. Crit. Just 10 crits in a row. You're so lucky you didn't find a Oh, there. yes. Easy game. <laughs> You're so lucky. No, this is all skill, dude. We choose this. Content? Yeah, we choose this. We ban the bird. We take John's resist lead. And then we go into Leo S1 or S2. This is, is the content, the dude. This is the play. This is the content. Ah, uh, he banned your content. Why would you ban John? What? Hey, it's a new unit. I get scared. I don't know what new <laughs> units do. Some I feel bad for Fighter 3 players, though. Because then sometimes they face people, like, actually around their level. And then all of a sudden they face, like, someone like you with actual runes for, like, the last four years. And it's like, oh, wait. Yeah, but the thing is, like, someone that, like, should be that rank, right? We always talked about this before, right? People smurfing and stuff like that. They just have to figure out a way so people aren't really, like, farming those points. Because I'll be down here, but only for a little while, right? Because I, I technically will just keep winning. Like, I don't have plans to just lose for any reason. Oh, my God. Okay, thanks. It depends on how many matches you play. What if I played, like, 600 matches, but I'm fighter three? But I'm actually like a G3 player, right? Well, but I mean, for how, me to how, climb... you, how are you G3 player then if, you, if you're if you fighter? Unless you're smurfing, right? Or unless you're, you're inting on purpose. You can't do 600 That's what I'm downloads. saying. No, yeah. but that's what I'm saying is I smurfed like the whole season because I don't care about the season, right? Until like now. Mm. Like, oh, now I should climb from fighter 3 back to G3, right? Yeah, but there's then all a lot of discussions like... that we have on that. Like, how would they cap that, right? Some people said that they shouldn't be let down at a certain rank, you know, make penalties. But that's hard, you know, because there's pros and cons on both sides. So Dude. Swift is severely lacking over the years. Same here, but like honestly, my Swift, dude, I run like a 304, and that's it. I don't run anything faster than a 304. I mean, the, Swift the difference yet. is that, I mean, your 304 is like fast, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh. like, like no, not not fast, but like tanky. You know what I mean? Sorry, I didn't mean fast. Your 304 is fast, not just fast, but it's like tanky and high damage. So that's quite a difference, yeah. right? Why didn't you S3 there, dude? Why didn't you S3, dude? Eh, just let, let him let slow death. You know what I'm saying? It's more fun. Slow death yeah. for the content, slow, right? For the content. There we go. Oh, this game's so easy, dude. Yeah, this is so easy. How come when we say it's the last one, it's so easy? Should I just keep saying last one or what the heck, man? Yeah, see, that's my problem with RTA too, because I like to RTA on Discord with my friends. Mm -hmm. I keep saying last one. 
But they just so going. fun sometimes. Yeah. I fought yeah, a Despair Savannah that. yesterday. That was so that was so funny. Despair Savannah. Wow, that's actually so detrimental though. If she actually is set up and she does S3 and she despairs on you, that's such a detriment for your opponent or you. Not only do you lose your attackers, but you lose an additional turn. So that's like two turns. You're like just been chilling. If you pick Savannah, right? Your despair units are technically Oki and Fire Bison. So you don't need Savannah to be despair if the other two units are kind of like your despair true, units. True, true, your stunning stuff. units, right? What's the point? Yeah. Stuns on stuns. I guess layer. Oh, okay, C1. This is it. This is the one. This is the final one right here. That Douglas is so OP. That unit solo so what much. He, what does he do? If he has higher attack than you, he counters. So most of them are on Vampire. I 100% with Ban Douglas here. Content. The I don't even know what he does. The ban content? Something. Ban anything. Yeah, content. Leave him. Let's let's watch him destroy me. Is he that good? I, I feel like he's just about to get obliterated on turn one, dude. Alright, this is this is the dub. C1. I need to prove myself here. Oh my god, this guy's hella slow. Holy That's one. That's on the Douglas. That's on the Douglas for sure. What's brand? Oh, he didn't land it. S3 here. Uh, yep. We just put bombs. Uh, uh oh. That is not good. Oh, no, this is fine. Yeah, oh, actually... fine, Oh, nice damage. Hey, I mean, we still lap it, so we can just bomb the, the Douglas help. You can bomb Douglas, Douglas or the Luis, because if Luis S3, then you're kind of screwed too, nah, right? No, nah, no, we don't care. Luis is going to be too slow, so we don't care. We're going to be lapping and killing everything. Yeah, we're good. Dude, okay, I'm not going to lie. He, he is kind of scary. I will say that. Okay, you know, I'll, watch, I'll do this. Let's see if we do it again. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't, wait, how does he revenge? It's glancing and chance, yeah. It's uh, not always. Okay. We set that Luis. Oh, no, See, no, but it, 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 has, it has silence. It has silence. Oh my god, he survived. No, but we win, oh, right? Win. It's, it's, it's a matter. You win at this point. He can't heal him. Dude, he oh. does a lot of damage, though. Holy crap, he gets to put one bomb. Yep. <laughs> nice. Not gonna lie, um, I think John's pretty solid, right? I, like, like I said, you're obviously in a higher rank, so you can obviously, you know, speak for the high rank players on maybe how useful he can be, maybe in more, you know, unique situations. But he seems strong, you know. I think he can definitely be as a, like a little wild card pick, right, into a lot of players' pools, given the certain you know situations. But I do like John, right? Here's the runes that I have for him on RTA. If you guys want to check that out here, right? He's on Violent Will. These are his stats. All right, here's a Sierra, if you guys want to see, Violent Revenge. We got our Triton here, all right, uh, Swift, Broken. We got Oki here, who has been ruined the entire time and has not not been on Rune and is not currently on a budget set because we had to put runes on him. Uh, we got Fire Bison here. Okay, uh, we got Savannah here on Violent Well. Yeah, we got Ganny, didn't even pick it, Violent Well, and uh, we got the Ryu here. Yeah, fun video, fun times. I think we're pr probably gonna try to do some maybe cool videos in the future. We can try to mess around with him a little bit more. And I think as I get to the higher ranks, it'll be a little bit more interesting to see how he, you know, matches up. But now we're up to, uh, you know, Fighter 3. Maybe we'll continue on with this series of doing, you know, interesting comps, using interesting units, and maybe see how far I can get, right? Just messing around and seeing if we can get up to, you know, that, that C3 range where, you know, Agent Thunder here expects us to be. Agent Thunder, any final words here? No final words, man. I don't, I don't know how you're going to hit C3 with not enough units. But hey, don't you worry just have about to outroom people, right? Yeah, dude. You outroom gonna... so many people here. You know, next one, next one, maybe we should use some balls. You know what I'm saying? Right? You like balls? I love balls, dude. We're going to put like double balls, right? <laughs> We're going to put two balls to fight. Okay, at least balls two balls. John with two, two balls. balls, yeah? John with his double balls. Maybe that'll be the team <laughs> comp, right? So our, our strategy cool. is to decide what other two units, supporting units, right, to support that comp. We can, we can maybe figure that out, yeah, because we got I got them all prepared here. So we'll set that up. Thank you guys for joining into today's video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to that 100,000 subscribers. Leave your comments down below, right? Let us know, you know, what you'd like to see, and uh, we can set it up. Until the next time, uh, see you later. Peace!